the last big one for the competitors of the Dakar. 254 kilometers all the way to Senegal's capital. Enough to get lost. Over 30 minutes. That was the time difference this morning between leader Coma and Cyril Dupre. Could the Frenchman take on Mission Impossible? A final battle in the car race. Luc Alphon with a 22-minute lead versus Janelle de Villiers. The two heavyweights were eager to fight it out. Another tragedy on the Dakar. Late this morning, an assistance truck hits a young boy that sadly died. He was 12 years of age. The bad news was announced early this afternoon by Gilbert Isern, general manager of ASO, the rally organizer. Today, Senegal Motorsports Federation and the rally organizers have been informed by the police that a road accident took place on the assistance itinerary between Tamakunda and Dakar at kilometer 200. Unfortunately, in this accident involving an assistance truck, a 12-year-old boy lost his life. The second day in a row, the Dakar is in mourning. Tomorrow's stage will not be timed. A look back at yesterday's stage from Labe to Tambacunda. Dirt at dusk. And the last tough moments of this 2006 Dakar, but always that reminder that on a Dakar, the competitors are all part of one same big family. And one, when one is in trouble, he can always count on the helping hand of his colleagues. Rivalry doesn't exist between the privateers. Certainly why Bernardo Bourgeon, the Brazilian, spent his day pulling Frenchman Laurent Maurice's bike all the way to the finish line. Friends on the Dakar, friends forever. And that's the Dakar spirit. Three stages to go for the bikers and sheer exhaustion after so many kilometers. They cause Vargo of Hungary yawning on his KTM. Well, exhaustion caught up with Varga. Probably the reason for this fall. Not too serious, however, but one always needs to remain focused. It was an action-packed special, even for those behind. And overtaking yeah. wasn't simple on these yeah. narrow tracks. Yeah, Tony Van Dyne, yeah. with his uh, co-driver, having a nine yeah. Why were you so close? I don't understand why you drive so close to the truck. You don't have anything to gain here. Total nonsense. Don't be scared. Okay. Well, daring stuff by the Dutchman. Accidents would really be too bad. So close to Dakar. Today, penultimate stage of the Dakar, the last real one before the shores of the Lac Rose tomorrow. Stage 14 takes the competitors from Tambacunda to Senegal's capital. 254 kilometers of time special. Enough for mistakes and changes in the standings. A beautiful sunrise on the Tambacunda bivouac. The last real big effort for the bikers of this Euro Milioish Dakar. And the last chance for Cyril Dupre this morning at the start of the special to try and catch up overall leader, Mark Coma. Well, I'll take it easy today, says Coma. Try to follow the roadbook, make it to the finish without taking risks. And off. We went on the first 100 kilometers of the special. Some of the bikers already suffered navigation problems, cheered by all the locals. Great stuff here in Senegal. Jonas Street, second of the previous stage, lost himself big time. Now, navigation is something that the newcomer on the rally isn't really familiar with. The Baja 500, three-time winner, 
lost 37 minutes on the day. He's 17th overall. A bad day for the American. Mark Comer started his stage just focused on avoiding problems, probably not looking for the win, just wanting to make sure he kept a good enough lead to triumph on Sunday. Meanwhile, Cyril Dupre probably knew that it was almost Mission Impossible. The gap this morning between him and Comer, over 30 minutes. Dupre would need a miracle on the way to Dakar, either a masterpiece on his behalf or a serious mistake from the Spanish opponents. Well, Dupre took off in front of Coma this morning, a position that rather satisfied the Frenchman, especially with so much navigation to come. He made it to CP1 in front of Coma. Well satisfied. Well, it's a nice roadbook today, says Dupre, because we don't have too much information. So we have uh, time to navigate and remain focused. There is a trap every 150 meters like on the previous stages. Until then. But after that first checkpoint, the nightmare began. Focused on his roadbook and the last changes, Dupre got it all wrong at kilometre 160. The winner of last year's event went on a bad direction. Furious he was at the roadbook, trying left, trying right, not finding the correct track signal. Experienced the prey. Looked like a newcomer after winning stages thanks to his navigation skills. He was all over the place on this one. At the following checkpoint, he remained 43 minutes adrift. And then on the finish line, he had lost 42 minutes and 46 seconds on the day's winner. And almost all tried to follow Dupre. Chaos on the Dakar. First one man, then a small group. Dupre, joined by the Gavardo Blaze and Alain Duclos, decided to stop and discuss. And then the four man group became bigger and bigger. David Casteau joined in, so did Oliver Zetta, Vinters, and Go. Which way to go? Slowly but surely close to 30 bikers, including the big names, were looking for the right direction. Some going one way, some the other. Up to the finish line, many were not happy about the roadbook. I've had to claw admitted that, uh, well, either he was part of a group of stupid riders or there was a big problem. By the time the day's winner had made it to the finish, all the others were still struggling to make it to CP2 at kilometer 203. Time lost between 20 and 40 minutes. Well, for Poland's Jacek Shakur, it was a 30 minute punishment. But all eventually made it to the finish. Arvis Winters suffered a big fall. Meanwhile, two men were enjoying their day far from the chaos. David Tretinier and Marc Coma both were more focused on the way to go than on the roadbook and that proved to be key. Not very happy on his, uh, of his Dakar so far. Tretinier on his uh, 450cc Yamaha captured his first win this year. He crossed the finish line with a tiny 33 second advantage on Marc Coma. And what a great day it was for the Spaniards. His new overall lead over to play one hour, 13 minutes. Huge. Koma should have a big smile on his face tomorrow on the Lac Horse podium. Behind the two leaders, the gaps were massive on the followers. In third spot, Gerard Farasgal on his Yamaha was close to 17 minutes adrift. 
Another good performance by KTM Latvian rider Arvis Winters. This bike's a big four. Dutchman Franz Verhoeven also did well today. Did. 23 minutes adrift. And just after the day special time had come to remember Fabrizio Mioni, the Italian Dakar legend, left us just over a year ago heading to Kiffa. All the riders and former bikers now on four wheels gathered together in Ties for a tribute to Fabrizio. The ceremony took place on the site where the foundation Mioni created will soon build an agricultural and art craft school. Fabrizio remains and will always remain in the minds of all. So first victory for David Fretigny in the bike race, beating Coma by 33 seconds. Look at the gaps after that. 16 minutes on Fires Gale, 22 on Vinters, 23 on Verhoeven. The overall standings, Coma now has over an hour on uh, Cyril Dupre. Chris Blaise moves first to Salah, just over six minutes. Well, I'm really happy, uh, says Fretigny, because it's been a difficult Dakar. I fell, had many other problems. But I managed to carry on the race. I really wanted to arrive on the way to Dakar. So today was uh, a navigation stage. It's a good reward. I'm also happy for the Yamaha team. A difficult day with a lot of uh, difficult navigation, says Moncoma. Yesterday we knew it would have been difficult, but I think we managed to find a good way together with uh, my teammate Giovanni Sala and Jordi Valdom, who helped me a lot. Tomorrow, the last 30 kilometers, it should be enjoyable. My mother taught me, says uh, the brain, that one should say that cauliflower is bad, but one should say that he doesn't like cauliflower. So I don't want to say that the road book was bad, I'd rather say that I really, really didn't like the way it was done. Today the modifications deuxième, I followed, well, uh, were not pareil, good, quoi, and I got village. lost. Mais bon, But anyway, I've made it to...